What's up, everybody? Uh, happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Hope you all have a nice day and your families are incredibly nice to you. My family right now is inside making breakfast for me. Um, we're still up here in Keystone. Um, and I am sitting outside enjoying some Kona coffee in silence, staring at the mountain behind me here, in front of here. And there must be a sparrow's nest or something nearby because I keep getting dive bombed by birds. But um, yesterday we took a hike to Dylan's, Dylan Reservoir. And uh, any chance I get, I try to um, take my shoes off and do a little grounding. So we walked along the beach and uh, got our feet in the sand and on the rocks. And um, I even did a little cold plunging. Um, the water in the reservoir is all snow runoff, so it's God, it's got to be like 40 some degrees. But um, stripped down to my underwear and jumped right in in front of a bunch of fishermen. And um, I'm sure these mountain people aren't used to seeing uh, health nuts doing their crazy shit. So I'm sure that was exciting for them. Made their day. I'm sure it was a story they told. Anyway, some crazy guy uh, stripping down to his boxer briefs and uh and i was actually wearing a, like like a brief not a boxer so or uh, yeah so anyways <clears throat> i try to do that anytime i'm near some cold water um cold plunging is incredible for you and just the uh adrenaline is worth it um felt like like a superhero for like 30 minutes after i did that um but grounding too also just getting your shoes off i try to do that every day even if it's just walking in the backyard on the grass. Um, I've watched a couple documentaries and read a lot about grounding and how our... Sorry for the sniffles. My, it's pollen season up here, you know. Um, and I'm horribly allergic, even though I can't sell it. But um, but it, ingesting it doesn't have the same effect as breathing it in. Just so you know. But... Um, Grounding is incredible for you. It feels great. Something about, uh, and I'm not an expert on this, but something about connecting our body's um, electromagnetic frequency to the earth that we are we have the same frequency or something like that. And so when you connect your feet to the ground, you can exchange uh, negative ions or absorb negative ions from the earth. However it works, uh, it does. I think it does feel amazing just having your shoes off and getting some air on your feet is incredible and walking barefoot feels great for stretching out your plantar fascia and your toes and so i don't know if it works or not i love being barefoot i never wear shoes as, um as much as i can you know obviously to work in different places you have to but i'm rambling on about barefoot but anyways uh just finished uh laird hamilton's book life writer um and just wanted to share some thoughts on it i'll link up the book in the description but uh, I don't know Laird Hamilton at all, but he's been an inspiration to me, um, and just in how he lives his life, runs his businesses, um, he's inspired me to, uh, get, you know, take care of myself and, and sort of influenced a lot of my philosophies, a lot of philosophies that I try to incorporate in the build into Pine Pollen Superfoods and Train for Longevity and, and all the other projects that we're doing. And so I, I couldn't resist but to pick Life Rider up as soon as I saw it come out, so... Um, but Life Rider is, uh, is a pretty good book. Um, it's, it's less about Laird's surfing and fitness and, mm. and, uh, and those kinds of philosophies that you normally, that he normally talks about, you know, and he's known for, for his diets and, and, uh, life hacking and things and more about his, uh, philosophies on creating balance, you know, and how he runs his businesses, builds high performance teams, um, how he develops the ethos behind each of his businesses and the, and the purpose and driven uh, drive that's embedded within all of them. So uh, it's, it's really good. I think one of the things that stuck out this morning, I actually just finished it while I was having my coffee um, and made me want to make this video was the discussion of balance. And, you know, it's not just uh, in the book, he talks about not just work-life balance. I think most of us are familiar with the concept of work-life balance and balancing, uh, 
you know, our, uh, our family and our hobbies with our work and, um, but for an entrepreneur and from an entrepreneur's perspective that, and I can relate to this is, is there isn't like an off switch. You know, when you have a job, it's a nine to five, you go to work, you turn it off, you go home and you, you know, the balance is very clear. You have defined lines, but when, when you're running a business, uh, like I run at Pine Pollen Superfoods, it's a 24 hour day job. You know, I not only have to manage my team, um, but I have to manage customer complaints and uh, social media messages and, you know, are constantly, those gears in your head of constantly planning for the future, trying to assess risk and anticipate problems before they come. It, it's, it's a hard job. It, it, last night, last night I actually stayed up, uh, had a hard time sleeping, thinking about some of the uh, challenges that we're going through, a conversation I had with Dr. Mark Tested yesterday, Re, um, really trying to focus on um, helping guys with hormone optimization um, and, and focusing on... Um, just really trying to do what we can to um, share the message of health with as many men as possible. And just as I just was lying in bed all night thinking of different ideas and ways to promote that and connect with people. And so it's really hard to create balance um, as an entrepreneur. Um, it's, it's just it's, it's um, those lines and the ways to turn it off. Some of the things that I do to find balance, and I recommend other people trying, is simply turning your phone off. I mean, this thing right here that I'm holding in my hands is in, is a, is a killer, man. It's more addictive than crack. Um, and it constantly beeps all day with emails and uh, Facebook notifications and um, comments on YouTube videos. And I mean, you name it. It can be overwhelming. So I, I detach from this thing as often as possible. Yesterday on our hike, I actually left my phone purposefully in our condo and made sure my glasses are fogging up in this mountain air. So you'll have to apologize if I squint a little bit, but... Um, I can't even, I lost my train of thought, but, uh, in terms of balance, you know, in terms of balance, oh, shutting the phone off. See, I leave my phone purposefully in, uh, everywhere I go, I'll leave it in the car, I'll leave it in the condo, um, if I'm on a date night with my wife, on, uh, so I'll leave it wherever I am, I don't bring it with me, that is the best way to disconnect from it, um, but aside from uh, balance in terms of, you know, what we would normally think of work-life balance, he also goes into a good discussion in the book about um, balancing um, in business and balancing the desire for profit and the desire for growth um, with, you know, in multiple different ways. So one of the things he's talking about is slow and controlled growth, controlling your growth and managing it to where that it doesn't um, grow out of control too fast and and you unnecessarily create risks um, and flaws in your design they're growing things slow so you can maintain control oftentimes a lot of businesses don't have that that luxury either they're bombarded with investor money or demand for their products and services is just outrageous and then there's nothing you can do to control the growth and, you know sometimes but but for a lot of times, you know, slow organic growth can be better because then you have more control over the products, the messaging, um, the logistics and how it's delivered. Um, and you can manage the risk, financial risk, much better to do that that way. Um, the other thing he talks about is just managing the desire for profit with also your desire to serve. Um, one of the things, you know, he talks about, and I hate, I think it's so cheesy to talk about finding your why. Um, but every business needs a mission. And and so one of the things he talks about when it comes to balance is finding a balance between the desire for profit and the desire to serve and never losing sight of your your, your mission. Because at the end of the day, if, if you're, you're only in something, and this kind of goes to just motivation in general, if, if your whole, sole motivation is just to make money and live some crazy lifestyle and uh, be like... Uh, Dan Bilzerian or Gianbaki, Luca or whatever that guy's name is, and you just want to make money and then you just want to be on boats with models and uh, live in a big house and party, sooner or later that shit's going to wear out and isn't going to provide any satisfaction. And um, you're likely to fail and crumble sooner or later because that's just not sustainable. You know, when you're in your 20s, it seems like you could do that forever, but once you get into your 30s and 40s, 
start having kids, you soon realize that uh, that th those things just uh, don't have the same appeal anymore. So, um, in terms of balance, you know, finding your purpose uh, at Pine Pollen Superfoods, our main mission is to share the the message of health and wellness with as much pe many people as possible. Teach people how to eat, move their body, and care for themselves to be their own doctor, as Doctor Testa likes to say. And so, as long as we stay focused on that. It, it's easy to stay motivated because the, 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 we're mostly in this for the feedback. Here comes my little buddy. Hey, Tone. Say hi. Hi. Oh, hey, why don't you go inside and I'll be in a second. I, I want you to, like, get all the world things, like in street and stuff in Minecraft. You still have it. Okay. Well, let me come inside. Let me finish this and then I'll be inside to help with Minecraft. Will you shut the door? Thanks. That was my son, Tony. They want me to come inside and play for Father's Day, so I better wrap this up. But anyways, um, but, hey, one second. So anyways, um, just a final thought that you got you you to be motivated by more than money. And what Laird Hamilton talks about is that it even not just individually, but as a business, your motivation has to come from something uh, beyond just making money. And making money as fast as you possibly can, because sooner or later, that, that without a, a purpose-driven mission, there's just there's just not you're not going to um, your decision making is going to be flawed. Um, your product design will be flawed because everything is based on um, money and margins, and not on serving and service to uh, people, service to the environment, service uh, even to ourselves, and uh, giving ourselves something something meaningful to pursue as we labor to contribute to society these are these are the, the um, these are the balanced pursuits that he talks about embedding in our uh, corporate um, and just our entrepreneurial pursuits whether you're a realtor you're a landscaper uh, whatever you do um, try to do something and find a purpose beyond just making money um, and it'll sustain you a lot longer for 30 40 years um, if your sole purpose is just to have money and a lifestyle and buy things and accumulate materialistic stuff, the, you, you'll sooner or later burn out. At least, and maybe not everybody, but that, that's at least his message. As somebody who's been at the top of surfing um, for as long as Laird Hamilton has, I, I, I trust that that, uh, that that he's probably experienced that and knows firsthand that um, those things, you know, he's 57 years old. So, you know, looking back, he can probably see that a lot of that stuff that he was done when he was younger, the partying, the going, you know, all the accolades, the money, it uh, it just doesn't have the same flavor as you get older, have a family, and your priorities change. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will try to make uh, more on all kinds of different topics, business, life, um, superfoods, fitness, and uh, updates on things we're working on uh, for Chain for Longevity and Pine Pollen Superfoods. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and make also sure to check out our website, pinepollensuperfoods.com. Thanks.